Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman, and I'm the director and founder of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law uh, issues here in Michigan, and one of those family law issues has to do with life insurance. You know, sometimes people, in the course of their lives, one of the things that they do, they buy insurance. You know, you're married, you put your husband or your wife as a beneficiary on your insurance. The question is, what happens in a divorce? So you need to realize that in most cases, there are some technicalities with the risks and all that, but in most cases, when you have a divorce where wife is left on husband's life insurance, the divorce, by operation of law, cancels her as a beneficiary. So that means, let's say it's an amicable divorce and your thought process was, you know what, I want my wife to be on the, pro if I die and I can't pay child support or something, I want my ex to still be my beneficiary, even though we're divorced, because we're not spouses anymore, but she's still the mom. If I die tomorrow, what's going to happen? So if you want to do that, you have to re-up her as a beneficiary post-divorce, which means you're going to have to tell the life insurance company, look, I got divorced, uh, my ex is my beneficiary, but that's going to uh, fall by the wayside. I want to redesignate her, and then you can do that. Otherwise, if you do nothing and you pass away, she's not going to be the beneficiary uh, of your policy because by operational law she will be eliminated. That means that your policy will have no beneficiary, which means it goes to you, but you're dead. So therefore, it goes to your estate, which means it has to be probated. The whole purpose of life insurance is to avoid the very process that's going to happen, the probate process, if you do it that way. So therefore, make sure to be diligent about that. And if you have any questions about how to handle that, of course, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.